Would he have backed down if you had got your point across? Would he have backed down if you had gotten your point across? Would he have? Would he have? Okay, so, so would he have backed down? To back down is bajar los humos y dar marcha atrás y, y no insistir. O dejar de momento de insistir. To back down. Uh, dar marcha atrás. Would he have backed down if you had gotten your point across? To get your point across is lograr transmitir el mensaje. Se habría dado marcha atrás él en sus fueros, en su insistencia. Si tuvieras logrado transmitir bien tu mensaje. Escuchad. Would he? Would he? Would he? Como Woody Allen. Would he have? Would he have? Would he have? Would he have backed down if you had got or gotten? If you had gotten your point across, you need to get your point across better the next time. Hello again. Would he have backed down if you'd gotten your point across? Would he have backed down if you'd gotten your point across? Would he have backed down if you'd gotten your point across? Wow, por partes. Would he have? Would. Conditional. Past conditional. Third conditional. Would he have backed down? Yeah. If you'd gotten your point across. Do you understand the sentence? Maybe not. All right. To get your point across means if you have you were successful in your argument and he understood your argument. To get your point across. But here we're focusing on would he have? Would he have backed down? Yes. Habría bajado los humos de haber po podido ganar en tu argumentación. Habría bajado un poco hmm, de ser menos gallito, digamos. Would he have backed down? To back to back is ir marcha atrás. To back down means no ser tan presumido o presuntuoso en su argumentación. Would he have back down? Would he? Would he have? Fijaos como yo me como la H de he. Would he? Como Woody Allen. Would he? Would he? Would he have? Would he have? Would he have? Would he have? Would he have back down if you'd gotten your point across? Okay, so I'm under the impression that some people think I'm a little strict, and that really winds me up when people say that, because I am not strict. Just look at me, I am not strict. I mean, really, look at my staff. Just look at them. Would I have hired them if I were strict? I mean, would George have gotten a job here if I were strict? Think about it, he came to his interview late. That's right, he came to his interview late. Would he have gotten a job here if I were strict? I don't think so. See, I'm not strict. Yeah, or Felicity. Would she have gotten a job here if I were strict? Would she? Would she have gotten a job here as an entertainer if I were strict? I don't think so. In her interview, all she said whenever I asked her a question was fun, fun, fun. Or take Margaret. Would she have gotten a job anywhere else? In her interview, she fell asleep. Would she have been able to get a job anywhere? I don't think so. I have this staff of useless people who never would have gotten a job anywhere if it weren't for me. I am not strict. Hello. Would he have backed down? Backed down. Echarse atrás en una discusión. Se da cuenta de que a lo mejor no tiene razón y ya se, ya se echa atrás. Would he have backed down? Down. To back out is salir con coche marcha atrás de un garaje, por ejemplo. To back. Ahora bien, to back down is vas con una argumentación muy fuerte y luego mm, mm, vas, te vas echando atrás. To back down. Mi pregunta, ¿se habría echado atrás de haber entendido tu punto de vista? Would he have backed down if you had gotten your point across? Would he have backed down? Backed down. Backed down. Would he have? Would he have? Would he have? Would he have backed down if uh, you'd gotten your point across? Or los británicos dirían, if you'd got your point across. I've got a problem with my elbow. Tengo un colo muy doloroso. It's very painful. 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 Yes. Learning English. Is learning English painful or painless? The word of the day. Painful. The opposite of painless. Doloroso, indoloro. Painful, painless. It's always crazy around here. Always. There's never a boring or dull moment. 
Ya, yeah, eso es una expresión. Never a dull moment. Nunca un momento aburrido. Yeah, it's Harriet and Mike. They're fighting again. Yeah, they're always fighting. But this time, it sounds pretty serious. You know, she said, Mike, you gotta clean the bathroom. And Mike said, I did, I cleaned it. And she says, no, you didn't. And he said, yes, I did. And they kept going. See, you don't see. They kept going for like 10, 15 minutes. And he wouldn't back down. Yeah. And she wouldn't back down. So they just kept going in circles. Back down. Recular. To back down. Yeah. Neither of them. Yeah. Neither of them wanted to back down. They're stubborn. Hard-headed. Yeah. Stubborn, hard-headed, cabezotas. They are hard-headed, they are stubborn. And neither of them wanted to back down. Yeah, he, she, I mean, it was just, he said, she said. He, she said, no, he said, yes. And back and forth and in a circle and nobody would back down. Hello again. Would he have backed down? if you'd gotten your point across? To get your point across, my point, look, my argument, pens are better than pencils. Pens are preferable. Pens are much better. I don't agree with you. My argument, my point, the point I want to get across is that pens are preferable. Pens are better, that's my point. Don't you understand? Don't you understand that, come on, you're defending pencils? Pens. You don't need to sharpen pens. When you have pencils, you need to buy a pencil sharpener. So pens are better than pencils. I'm tr you don't understand. Manolo, I'm, I can't get my point across to Pedro. I can't get my point across. I'm trying to get my point across. Listen, listen to me. Yes, pens are better than pencils. My point is, that means my argument. And to get your argument across means to transmit your argument effectively in order to influence or change the opinion of your person, of the person you're talking to, to get your point across. And if I had gotten my point across, he would have backed down. Oh, hello there. How are we today? You know, I was just thinking if there's one thing that Margaret has learnt in this life, it's to be confident. You have to never be afraid to get your point across. You have to believe in yourself. If you have a point to make, make it and get your point across. Do you understand that, my darlings? To get your point across means hacer entender tu opinión. So get your point across and repeat with me. I always get my point across. Good. You know, if I didn't get my point across, Harriet would make me do all sorts of jobs. I mean, take that poor boy, George, for example. He just doesn't know how to get his point across. He doesn't believe in himself. He's not confident. And because of that, Harriet makes him do all sorts of jobs. With that, Harriet, it's so important to get your point across. So listen to Margaret. Don't be afraid to get your point across. All right? What was I saying? Oh yes, always get your point across.